cool. What's wrong? Beautiful. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Jimmy. So you guys can tell I'm here with a uh, guest today. Hi, my name is Abigail Gilari and I'm his niece. There you go. Now you're a friend. <laughs> you're a better friend. Yeah, guys, so yeah, believe it or not, I have older brothers, brothers and sisters, and probably a younger sister, who have kids. I am the only one of two without progeny. This is my lovely niece, off camera over here. Come over. My brother. Hello. My yeah. It's my nephew. My name is Israel. And yeah, my nephew. Yep, there you go. Cool. We just call him Junior around here, around these parts. But, but you know. his real name is Israel, like my dad. So, Israel II, in other words. Anywho, as very pirated as that name is, uh, as you guys obviously tell by the title of this video, we are going to do a taste test. And, uh, have the uh, on screen footage. It is a uh, frutella. And it is actually, you guys don't know, it's an Italian brand. Uh, Senza gelatina animal. Okay, I'm gonna fathom a guess. I'm gonna, gonna say that means something at gelatinous animal. Sensational? I think that's what that word is, probably. Senza. Uh, Bruco Fris, which, honestly, no idea. I see the word frizz and I think of soda. So I think this is gonna taste like soda, but it's probably not. And uh, since this is from uh, Italia, it's going to use the uh, kilojoules. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know I like to break down calories and all that jazz. Uh, so for the entire thing, it is uh, 341 calories, uh, ba -ba -ba, 84 carbohydrates, and uh, no protein. Cool. No art. Uh, from a kid's perspective, what does that equate to? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> This is the kind of hard-hitting stuff we do on my channel. All right, so uh, you ready to try this? Uh, I think it's. Uh, do you think it's sour? Honestly, I really hope it is. Yeah. But if it, look, it looks sour. Yeah, they look like sour gummy worms. Um, oh, it says they're vegan, or in Italian, as it says on here, vegan. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. That's exactly what it, what it says on here. Literally, it says vegan. <laughs> yeah, it literally says vegan on the stupid thing. Uh, it's not even going to show up on camera. Anywho, uh, uh, apri I don't even know what the hell that means. I guess we don't need scissors after all. I figured that out. Alright. Oh. Uh -huh. You smell good. Oh my god. You want to take a look at this? Oh wow. It smells like, kind of like, Regular gummy worms? Yeah. Kind of like that, but a little more, uh, like, a little more sourness. Or, like, sweetness. Alright, guys, so we have um, three different colors. We have orange, lime, apple, and a raspberry. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, what color are we going to try first? Uh, uh, <laughs> why don't we just choose one? Like, I got the green one. Apple. It's probably gonna be the best one. I'll grab a lime, lemon. You can't see. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, oh god. Mm -hmm. It tastes like actual lime. This one actually tastes like green apple. Mm. Try one. Mm. I got the it's lemon. sour. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I thought it actually taste like. Excuse me, I thought I was actually gonna taste like cold. I don't know. Mm. I don't know he's on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this red one right here. Raspberry? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. I thought it was uh, or red apple. Nope. Oh. You have green apple. Uh. Uh, I don't like raspberries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try an orange one. This one is um, orange, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. Uh, Pretty good. You want another one? I'm fine. Pretty good. Try orange. They actually look like gummy worms. Orange. So they have natural flavor, huh? 
basically. Well, this one is good. Probably. But it's vegan. I don't read I don't read Italian, so Yeah, but it's vegan. I mean vegan can literally mean anything. They could I'm I don't know what the uh, what European standards are as opposed to the uh, Food and Drug Administration here in the United States. Where um if it doesn't hurt you, they can literally put natural flavorings as anything. So it can literally be the spit of goats. And you can put it as natural flavoring as long as it doesn't hurt you. Wow. Legally, so, companies are allowed to get away with that. What's that? So tell us if you have ever tried this. No. Uh, the, the Never tried it. Um, one of my coworkers brought it from uh, Italy. She actually took a trip down over there uh, because of her daughter who has, I think, a husband or a fiance that is stationed out there. Thank you, Lorena. You are the absolute best. And... Uh, my niece and nephew and I are enjoying these so gosh darn much. So you should subscribe and smash the like button. 2020. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it, but she can say it. Anywho, before uh, we go, I guess we're going to try, uh, try going to eat these. Um, would you recommend these to people? Would you t If people were to go to Italy, Italy right now, would you tell them to go buy this? Yes. They're so good. They are. Honestly, I, I highly if, recommend if, them. If you had these, I mean... Fruit teller, right? Mm hmm Oh. Have you ever tried a... Um, I know you never tried this, but what... Just asking, what would it taste like if you did that? Oh, sorry. Which one would you prefer? Um, those or, uh, gummy worms. I like these, actually. Um, I don't know which one I prefer. They're really good. But I think I like these more. So you do know. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. So, this has been a very interesting taste test with, uh, my niece, my nephew, and myself. Uh, guys, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Remember, you are loved, guys. And remember to stay... Absolutely radical, right, guys? Catch you on the next taste test, which is probably gonna happen a lot sooner than you guys might think. <laughs> <laughs>